Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, circle with the center O such that uh, this uh, diameter AB and this uh, chord uh, CD intersect each other such that we get uh, this angle uh, 45 degrees. And furthermore, uh, this uh, segment uh, CE is uh, 16 and this segment uh, ED is 8 units and now our task is to find the radius uh, of this uh, circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% uh, true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our action plan. Now let's recall the intersecting uh, chords uh, theorem according to this theorem. If two chords intersect uh, in a circle then the products of the measures of the segments of the chords are equal as you can see in this uh, diagram as you can see we got these uh, two chords that intersect each other and as a result uh, we got these segments uh, a b c and uh, d so therefore we can write uh, a times b equal to c times uh, d as you can see in this uh, equation. Now we are going to apply the very same uh, theorem in our case over here we can see we got these uh, two chords uh, AB and CD intersect uh, each other such that uh, we got uh, one this uh, segment which is uh, 16 the other segment is uh, 8 and the other two segments are going to be AE and uh, EB and now our task is going to be find the value of this uh, segment AB and the value of this uh, another segment uh, EB as well. And here's our very first step. I have drawn uh, this uh, perpendicular and we can see that this is uh, our uh, radius. Uh, let me go ahead and call this radius uh, as lowercase r. We know that this uh, is going to be our uh, radius lowercase r and likewise this is our radius uh, lowercase uh, r as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus uh, on this uh, green shaded triangle. We know that this angle is uh, 45 degrees. This angle is 90 degrees. So therefore uh, this angle has got to be 45 degrees since the sum of angles uh, in a triangle must be equal to 180 degrees. Let me go ahead and call uh, this side length uh, OE as uh, X uh, units. And now let's recall uh, this uh, special 45, 45, 90 degrees uh, triangle. So this is called an isosceles uh, triangle since this uh, angle uh, equals to this uh, angle. So therefore uh, this side length uh, must be equal to this uh, side length. If I call this side length uh, x, then this side length is going to be x as well. And this uh, third leg is going to be x uh, times uh, square root of uh, 2. And if you are not sure how we got this uh, third leg, we can use the Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. Where this uh, longest leg is going to be a c, this side is a, and this side lowercase b. Let's go ahead and plug it in in this uh, Pythagorean formula to show you a in our case is x so this has become x square plus b is x square as uh, well equal to uh, in our case uh, c is uh, x uh, times uh, square root of uh, 2 and then whole uh, square. So the left hand side is going to be 2x square and over here on the right hand side if we take care of this thing uh, that's going to be 2x square as well. So therefore this is a true statement since both sides are equal. So therefore in our this uh, right uh, triangle uh, this side length uh, is going to be x uh, units uh, as well and this uh, third leg is going to be x uh, times uh, square root of uh, 2. And now let's make an observation. We know that this uh, segment uh, O e is x and this uh, segment uh, O F is X uh, as well and we know that both of these uh, are the radii of the very same uh, circle. So therefore uh, this uh, length uh, is going to be equal to this length that means this side length uh, equal to this uh, segment. So that means uh, this uh, sector is going to be congruent to this uh, sector. So therefore uh, this uh, side length uh, which is 8 
is going to be equal to this uh, side length uh, 8 as well. And we know that this whole segment is 16. So therefore we conclude that this segment EF is going to be 8 as well. And we also know that this segment EF is x times square root of 2 as well. So therefore I can equate this x times square root of 2 equals to 8. Let me go ahead and write down x times the square root of 2 equals to 8 units. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by square root of 2 to isolate x. This is gone. So therefore x turns out to be 8 divided by square root of 2. Now let's go ahead and rationalize the denominator by multiplying by 2 and dividing at the same time by square root of 2 as well. And here at the denominator square root of 2 times square root of 2 is going to become square root of 4 which is equal to 2. So therefore we got x equal to 8 times the square root of 2 divided by 2. That means x turns out to be 4 times the square root of 2. So thus our this uh, x value turns out to be 4 times the square root of 2. Two. And now we know that this is our radius lowercase r and this is our radius uh, lowercase r. So that means this whole uh, segment AE is going to be r plus this x which is uh, 4 times uh, square root of uh, 2. And this uh, length uh, this uh, segment EB is going to be r minus uh, this x value which is uh, 4 times uh, square root of 2. Uh, and now let's recall the intersecting codes the theorem once again we are going to apply now over here let me go ahead and call uh, this uh, segment a this segment uh, b this segment c and this segment uh, d so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so a in our case is uh, r plus uh, 4 times uh, square root of 2 times uh, b is r minus 4 times uh, square root of 2 equals to c is 16 times d is 8 and now let's recall this famous identity a plus b times a minus b could be written as a square minus b square we are going to apply it uh, on this uh, left hand side so therefore left hand side could be written as uh, r square times uh, 4 times uh, square root of 2 whole uh, square equals to on the right hand side 16 times 8 is 128. Let's go ahead and simplify the left hand side r square minus uh, this thing is going to give us uh, 32 equals to 128. Let's go ahead and add 32 on both sides this is gone so therefore r square turns out to be 160. Let's undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both sides. So therefore our radius r turns out to be approximately equal to 12.65 units. So thus the radius of this circle turns out to be approximately equal to 12.65 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.